Hello everybody, welcome to Dungeons Beer Reviews. Uh, we've made it through to the gateway for the weekend, which makes it... Fun Friday, fun Friday, fun Friday. It's fun Friday, everybody. Uh, my first Brown Friday, Halloween has got to be something a little bit fun, a little bit different. Something to get the party started and something to welcome in that uh, that weekend. And so it's this one, this is what I fancied. I was given this one by a friend at work, Dave, thanks very much. Um, it's a collaboration between uh, By the Holland's Brewing Company and Jiddler's Tipple in a very wonky can. I don't think I've, um, I don't think I've dropped this one, so I don't, don't know how that's managed to get bashed so much as it is. It is a panettone pastry stout coming at 6.5% um, ABV. Let's crack it open, shall we? Let's see what we got. Yeah, I really fancied this one. I suppose um, weekends are all about friends and family, and since I was uh, gifted this by a friend, uh, I thought it would make a good, fun Friday drink. I've got to work to get ahead of this thing. Now, a fairly aggressive port then to get a little bit of a head on that, but we've got one now. Too big a head now. I'm getting some lovely aromas off it. So on the pour, that is pretty much black. Not seeing any light coming from that at all. Uh, and a beautiful foamy uh, tan head, beige tan. There you go. Think of your own words for it. Let's get a, a sniff, shall we? It smells stout-like. So you've got a little bit of roastness in there. It does smell sweet. Get a bit of orange. A hint, merest hint of spiciness. Looks good, smells good. Let's take a show. Cheers everybody. I have to say, I think they pretty much nailed that panettone flavour. It tastes really good. There's nice sweetness. It's not overly sweet like some pastry stouts can be. This isn't overly sweet at all. It is fruity. You have got that candied orange -y flavour to it that and, uh, you can get in, in panettone. Yeah, it's got those Christmassy um, dark fruits in there as well. It's a bit of plum, um, nice raisin coming through. And it does have a little bit of a really nice mouthfeel to it. It almost, I don't know if it's psychological, it almost feels a bit claggy. Feels a bit like cake like in the mouth. The orange is growing in flavour, the raisin is growing in flavour. Winter spices are, are there. Little light, uh, it does say, I think, on the front. Uh, yeah, orange, raisins, vanilla, brandy and rum. I am getting a subtle hint, very subtle hint of brandy type flavour. But it is, that is nice. It is really tasty beer actually I like that um, yeah two brand new breweries to me 
by the horns. I've heard everyone come to where they are, and I think Chitlin's tip, but I think they're a London based small brewer, craft brewer. Uh, by the horns, where are you based? Does it tell me? Uh, no, not, not seeing. Not seeing it on there. But no, really good. Really like that. Um, tasty, creamy, smooth. Does taste like a panettone in a can. Yeah, that's a 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Andy's Beer Reviews. Um, yeah, whatever you're drinking, enjoy it. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, welcome to the weekend. The weekend started. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's it, until next review. Cheers everybody. <laughs>